Hey, Sivan here. Welcome to the fifth video of this uh, tutorial. In this one, we're going to be looking at uh, moving pivot points, uh, freezing transformations, and deleting history. So we're going to carry on from the previous lesson. So I've just kind of got this rough uh, extruded object. Um, doesn't matter too much on the actual shape. It's just so we've got something to work with. So what we're going to look at first is moving uh, the pivot point and why it's kind of um, important. So I've done my extrudes, done some edge loops, I've gone back to object mode. What happens now is the pivot point for the whole object is still where it originally was. Um, this isn't too bad if you're kind of just generally moving it around. Um, the problem is when we come to rotate, it will rotate from that point as well. Sometimes that's kind of what you want um, or it's easier to aim or whatever. Um, you know different objects but in general terms you will want to move um, this pivot point there's a couple of different ways to do it the simplest way if we just want it kind of in the generic placement in the middle of the object we can go to modify and we can do center pivot what this will do is just put it straight to the middle of that object um, so now when we rotate when we scale it will do it around the center of the object. Um, so it's a standard kind of movement. The other way we can do it is by moving it ourselves by hand. So with the W tool on, so you press W, and then press the insert key on your keyboard, what you'll get is this gizmo. Um, older versions, it doesn't have all of the rotate options, it just has the uh, translate. But what we can do is then we can move this where we want. So, for example, I'm just going to drag it down here, hit insert again. That's now my new pivot point. Other things we can do inside the insert tool is we can snap. So, we can snap it to different points. Um, they're kind of up here. Um, the, the magnets show sort of where the different snapping tools. Um, but what we can do. Um, the main one you'll probably most want to use with objects is holding down V. The icon in here changes to a circle and up here it's showing us that we have um, that hotkey active. So this middle one here is snap to points. Um, we've also got snap to grid which is um, X. Um, we've got curve snap which is C. Um, and some of these will be um, snapping to surfaces and different levels. So the main ones you'll want are X, C, and V. So if I want to rotate around a specific point of the grid, I can X snap. So hold down X, hold down left click, and then it will snap to my grid. And then insert, and then it will stay. So normally you're going to want to vertex snap it, so V and it will snap to any vertex, so back or front. Um, so just kind of be a little bit careful to make sure it's on the right vertex. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna say, for example, throw it down here and hit insert. That's then my new um, pivot point. So when I scale, it will all scale back towards um, that side. So that's... Um, moving a pivot point two different ways so you've got center pivot and you've got uh, insert what we're going to look at next is freeze transformation so I'm going to just move this um, what happens is up here I've obviously now got um, trans uh, translations and I'm going to scale it as well so we've got scales if say for example um, sort of the easiest example is we always we're kind of happy where this object is um, and we're just kind of moving out the way there are other things we can do but we're just going to move it out the way we want to be able to put it back to this position when we're done one thing we can do um, obviously we won't be able to control Z because we'll muck around with other objects whatever what we can do is freeze the transformations so um, same again under modify we've got freeze transformations what this does is resets all of our um, transformations to zero. So if I move this over here and I then type them back to zero, it puts it back to that point where I want to keep it. Uh, 
Um, the last thing um, I want to talk about in this video um, is deleting the history. So we haven't done much this object, we've done a few extrudes, moving pivot point, things like that. This is our history over here. Um, so I said it in probably one of the early lessons um, that history is stored. Um, some of these, like I said, you can open um, and kind of edit them. Sometimes we want to get rid of this. Um, so when it's kind of ready to go into an engine or the product's pretty much finished, um, we want to have our objects as streamlined sort of as possible. So we don't want all of this kind of redundant, useless information left behind. So what we can do is go to edit. Um, we have a few options in here and you have to be careful depending on what your project is. So deleting by type is just for the selected. Delete all by type is everything that's in that project. Sometimes we want history on objects. So if we've um, used deformers or if they have animations or parenting, things like that, we don't want to delete that history. So sometimes you just want to select the object, edit, delete by type, and then history. That then completely wipes out um, history in the channel box um, and our object is kind of seen as um, a fresh empty object. It's now seen as the, the base. Um, then we can export it and put it in a game or whatever. Um, but you have to be careful um, with what um, history we delete on the objects. Um, so that's uh, pivot points, freezing transformations and um, deleting history. Uh, in the next video we're going to look at different ways of merging vertices. Uh, see you there.